You know everybody been waiting on that baby, man. I needed some shit with some boxes, fly her across the country. I finished the show and I hop in it. I got me a million, guys. I'm a hot nigga. Oh, you asking for pictures with niggas? Huh? What's your name? Get the fuck out the spot, nigga. Uh -huh. I woke up. Hey, babe. It's Queen Ray. Look. And welcome back to her channel. So, look. I tried to do this video without her. I really did. I really did. I tried every truck in the book. Changed her, fed her, played with her a little bit. Kick, 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 kick. Nothing worked. She still was crying for me as soon as I walked out the room. So, um, I'm just going to have to do it with her in my hand, which is fine because she don't make no noise. She ain't going to interrupt me. Um, but what I wanted to do is I just want to do a quick video of um, my 2019 closing out. I feel like uh, a lot of things has happened this year for everyone, um, for me included, having a baby, you know, being pregnant the whole year and then having my baby in August. It just seems like everything came full circle, getting into my new apartment in October. It's just, you know, it was, uh, it's a blessing. Um, and I'm just very, very grateful for the things that I went through this year, because if it wasn't for me going through those things and I probably wouldn't be able to prevail the way I want to and the way I am, let me say am going to in 2020, I have a long list of things that I am trying to do in 2020 and God blessed me to be able to see the end of 2020, be able to look back and say I did it because with the way the world is set up nowadays, every day you got to count your blessings for real. Every month you got to count your blessings. We had a lot of losses this year, a lot of gains this year. And that's for everybody that went through things, whether it's emotionally, uh, financially, physically, mentally, whatever, spiritually. Like there's been changes in everybody all year round. So we have to humble ourselves at this very moment because no matter what we went through this year, we were able to progress, prevail, and get through it. It's not going to always be easy. Every year is another challenge. They say new year, new me. I say new year, new challenge because it's always going to be a challenge. It's always going to be something that's going to um, hold you back or make you feel like you're being held back from doing the next thing in your life. Whether it be friends, family, co-workers, um, relationship, whatever it is. Like Some people say, oh, I'm not going to be with this person before the end of the year. Come, I'm done. And at the end of the year, you still with that person. Listen, maybe it just wasn't the time, okay? Maybe you got another like few months to give yourself for that ump to be able to dip when you when you're ready to dip. Some people may say, I'm not going to be this girl friend no more because she did this in the third year at the end of the year and y'all still friends. Listen, maybe it wasn't her season yet. You feel me? Maybe it was still time for y'all to still be friends and God got something better when that time come. Some people said, oh, I'm about to have a baby at such and such. Before the end of the year, I'm going to have a baby. And you didn't have a baby. Listen, maybe it wasn't your moment, boo. Maybe God said, not right now, sis, calm down. Some others might have said, this is the year I am not going to have a baby. And God said, listen, this is your year. Okay. So listen, what I'm trying to say is everything happens for a reason to each person, for whatever the reason may be. It's not always on your call. It's not your judgment. It's not your time. It's just going to happen when it happens. I have um, I have this thing that I call, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't even think of it. I have this thing that I call, um, at the beginning of the year, I always think about all the things that I said I want to do before the year is closed. And I'm sure everybody does that. That's New Year's resolution. You're probably like, oh, bitch, it's called New Year's resolution. No, but listen, at the end, of the beginning of the year, I set a, a list of things I want to do before the year is over. When the end of the year gets here, I go back and I look and see what I said I was going to do and did I do it? Did I succeed? Did I even start it? Whatever, whatever, right? So this year, none of that came to play, to be honest with you. Like, I said I had so many different things. And I'm not going to say it didn't, like, complete itself. It didn't come full circle. But it never... It, I started them. I started certain things, but I just didn't get to finish it. So I got down on myself, like, oh, girl, you always do this to yourself. You set up a list of things you want to do, and you don't even do it. So what you going to do next year? Maybe next year you need to actually take heed on what you say and do it. If you say you want to do this, that, and the third, the other, you need to do it. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm setting myself up for 2020. But then I'm like, well, am I going to fail myself again because I said I was going to do all of this? I'm pre-sending uh, out videos and sending out memes and sending out quotes. 
Am I setting myself up for failure again? But then I'm like, no, listen. This is where I had to calm down. Because I'm not in control of my life, okay? I'm not in control of my life. I'm in control of my life on a, in a physical standpoint as far as doing things physically and moving and, you know, stuff like that. But when it comes to the spiritual, mental, and emotional side of my life, I am not in control. I have someone higher above me that takes control of every situation that I'm in. And I have to be the decision maker out of that, decision, that situation. So if he says, this is what... I'm setting forth for you to do in 2020. I'm the one to say run or none. Okay. You feel me? You either going to go with it or you going to sit down and just watch it go by because you can't always plan out your life the way you want your life to be planned, honey. It's not going to happen that way at no cost. It's never going to happen that way. We are not in control of, of our lives at all times. Okay. So I had to take a step back and I said, I'm not about to sit here and do this whole 2020 what I'm going to do. I'm not doing that. I can plan. I'm not saying don't plan. I can plan what I want for myself in 2020. But as far as what's going to take place in my life, it's not up to me. Whatever God sets forth for me, he could say, boom, here go a baby. And I'll be like, what well, God, what you doing? Like, this wasn't even in the plan. But he could be like, look, you don't even know. Because that baby I just gave you, that could be a whole Michael Jackson. You feel me? This right here, that could be a whole uh, Beyonce. You never know. So listen, count your blessings, boo. And don't think that it's always going to be in your control. It's not. All right? It may be some things that I want for myself that may be taken away. And I'd be like, Lord, why would you do that? Like, you know I just got that car, Lord. Don't do that. But he could be like, look, sis, I'm taking this car and I'm bringing you something else better along. So just pump your brakes. All right? So I say all that to say, you can plan out the things you want in your life. You can write it down. You can take a picture. Make it last long. Whatever you want to do. But you are not in control of your journey, your progress, and your path. You have to allow the higher person above you, the person that runs your life. I don't know if you're spiritual or not, but I'm telling you, there's always a higher being other than us. It just, it's that way, okay? So you have to let that person be in control of the things that you do or let that spirit be in control of the things that you do. Let that force, let that nature be in control of the things that you do so that you can progress the way you need to progress the right way. The more you continue to say, no, this is not what I said for myself. No, this is not what I wanted. The more you continue to do that, the more you are going to push yourself further and further back. And that's what I realized. 2020, I have a lot more things coming for myself that I can envision, that I can even talk about, that I can imagine. But sometimes when you don't say nothing, you speak in, you speak in words, okay? So I'm not going to say too much of nothing. All I'm going to say is I have a plan and a vision for myself. I'm going to sleep on it. That's a seed. I'm going to put that seed behind my pillow. And I'm going to sleep on it, baby. And when I say I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep like a baby. And I'm not going to wake up until it grows. Promise you. I'm not touching it. I might water it, dab, dab, water it. But I'm not going to touch it because when that seed is full grown, when that seed blossoms, somebody help me. Can you help me? Lord knows it won't be because of me, baby. It won't be because of me. I almost got emotional just now. Woo! It's a lot. 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 The world is very temporary at this point in our life it's very temporary we don't know when our day gonna be when the, when our friends day gonna be when our uncles when our aunts when our kids when our parents we don't know when nothing is going to be over for us all we know is we're here for now and we have to do what we have to do while we're here take full advantage of the time that you have on this earth love yours love yourself Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. And I don't say treat yourself like a, a gift or a toy or candy or food or nothing like that. No clothes, whatever. Nothing material. When I say treat yourself, I say treat yourself, meaning take care of you. Take care of you first. Pray for yourself first. Love on yourself first. Speak words into yourself on the daily first. You can't help nobody else until you help yourself. And I'm learning this as I speak to you about it, okay? Some people don't know when their next meal is going to come in, when their next paycheck is going to come. Nobody knows where their next blanket may come from, where their next roof over their head going to come from, where their next piece of clothing going to come from. We don't know. 
But all we can do is just trust in us. Trust in what we go through as a plant and of a seed for the next level of life. 2019 has not been nothing short of amazing for me. I was not able to accomplish all the things I set for for myself, but I got one thing straight. I got her. And I got them loud ass kids in my background. And I got a heart full of blessings and a heart full of love and a heart full of lessons. And I'm taking it with me, baby. I am taking it with me. And I'm not turning back. I'm not going to say, oh, I wish I would have did this that year. I wish I would have did this that year. It's over. We are stepping into 2020. It's over. Okay. I, I, I say this. I'm going to leave y'all off on this note right here. Because I'm a poet. You know that, right? And I said I, I write poems. If you ever watch my introductory video to YouTube, you would know that. I consider my life as an ocean. And this is why. When I think of my life and all the things that I've been through, I don't look like what I'm going through, okay? Nobody usually does. Unless you've used your body in ways, you know, drug ways or drinking or whatever the case may be. Maybe serious medical conditions. I'm not saying anything judgmental. I'm just saying. Sometimes you do look like what you've been through. But I don't look like what I've been through when it comes to the struggle. So I use my life as the ocean because the ocean is so so wide and it's so vast and it's so many different things in the ocean and it's so deep down i consider myself being a swimmer now i say this in a metaphorical sense not a not a physical sense because i don't know how to swim if i don't feel the bottom of the water take me out because i'm about to die okay i don't i don't know how to do it but meta metaphorically speaking i have learned to swim I have learned to stay afloat and above all of the things that I've been through. All the things that are beneath me, all the things that are at the bottom, and all the things that are within my life, I have learned how to swim. And not only swim, but stay afloat, stay available, stay above, and be able to be at bay with certain things that I've been through. Everybody can't say that for themselves, so I'll leave you off on this note. If you don't know how to swim, not literally, not figuratively, but mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, if you do not know how to swim, you need to learn. You need to learn how to stay above and afloat all the things that you've been through. Because the more you allow those things to take over your life and to weigh you down and pull you down, you are bound to drizzle down. Okay? So you need to learn how to swim, baby. Swim. And don't stop. Don't look back. Don't pull yourself up. Don't get tired. When you do get tired, what they do? Backpedal, baby. Backpedal, baby. Okay? Don't ever stop swimming. We're going to all get tired and stop swimming. You know what you do when you, talk, when you get tired? Go to the, uh, the ocean. Go on, go on up there and, and just relax. And by ocean, I mean just chill out in real life. Don't don't think too hard. Don't overstress yourself. Don't overdo it. Just learn how to coast. Okay? Just learn how to coast through life, through love, through triumph, through tribulations, through happiness, through sadness, through ups, through downs, through ins, through outs. Learn how to coast. Because life is full of fishes. You just got to be the great white shark. Happy New Year to everybody. And I leave y'all on a positive note with nothing but positivity in my heart. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of this video. I wasn't able to get in deep the way I wanted to get in deep. Because I don't want to just be sitting here boring nobody. But I just wanted to share the love that I have with everybody else through this through this year it's been crazy for all of us and i appreciate you for watching and i appreciate you for taking the time out to to share this moment with me because i almost got a little emotional okay i had a different plan for myself and and i allowed myself to sit back relax and just let let god let go and let god and he blessed me with a beautiful beautiful baby and i have a beautiful baby. Mommy, why you say nothing? Remind me where i know you from she looking like she owe you something you know you want to win no
less than grateful for each and every one of them. I swear to God. So happy new year to all. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Whatever's in your heart. But thank you for being here for me and with me. I appreciate you. And I will see you next year. Say bye. Bye-bye. Look, Sky. Say bye-bye. She doesn't care. <laughs> Say bye-bye, my baby. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see if she can smile. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye-bye-bye. <laughs>